Hey guys, are you here? And today we're gonna be playing some God Comp, and it is 2017. Playing some God Comp, and it is not. Let me repeat, not the best comp right now. But it was very fun uh, queuing with WizK and my boy Mr. Brown, aka Versace. Uh, first game here, we're fighting Windwalker DK. Um, <laughs> this actually isn't the first game. The first five games I think that we played we started off 0 and 5 we lost every single game two games no disperse uh a couple games me just me or the pally just playing bad um <laughs> we were we literally tanked almost 100 rating just minus 20s every game then then we brought it back then we brought it back actually uh had a pretty good Q session after that but we started off the Q session 0 and 5 it does happen you know, happens to everyone, <laughs> but we kept queuing and we uh, we ended up having a fun sesh. So here it is. Uh, first game on the YouTube video though, uh, Windwalker DK, Mistweaver. Um, it's not super popular anymore, but I do fight this from time to time. I think most of the latter right now is like RMD or Rhett Hunter. Uh, it seems like those t are the most popular comms. But yeah, we're for a while here, uh, we're trying to kill DK. Um, I don't really know if DK is the best target here, we can definitely make uh, Windwalker or Mistweaver swaps, but I feel like DK is the best like long-term strategy, so that's kind of why we were hitting him. By the way, that block that I just went into probably wasn't necessary, uh, just a little bit of miscommunication. I, I probably could have held my block there because my pally had adaptation for that stun. Um, getting Ring of Peace here into the wall, and the DK just keeps popping AMS, Corp Shield, you know, all these different cooldowns to actually survive. And I, the, the main thing is I just can't ever cheat this monk. Um, so I'm going to speed up this game a little bit. I just keep bursting into this DK and I can't really make anything out of it. And the, and the main reason is, like I just said, the CC on the mystery verse isn't happening because I am being trained. When I'm being trained, it's very difficult to land CC in the healer. And when there's no CC in the healer, it's very hard to get a kill. As you can see, we do some goes with silences and like orb. I put the game back to normal speed now. Um, do goes with like silences and orbs. It's very hard to do anything. Once I get a sheep, boom, we get his trinket. But that was my only sheep of, you know, until he had his trinket again. So it's very, very difficult to actually get pressure when every sheep I'm getting he just you know adaptation uh, just go ahead and trinkets it and we, we just actually can't get any damage off um, DK gets very low here um, that was the result of you know a full sheep trinket into a full fear into a hodge belf whatever um, but this guy still doesn't go down uh, I don't know if at this point yeah I think at this point we're like dude we, we need to go either Mistweaver or or Windwalker like for a for a burst kill or something because this DK like isn't dying um but i don't know if we realize that yet so we just keep doing damage into him i say i call for my team to pull out of that room i hate fighting in that room because it's very hard to get cc because there's so many little angles around the pillar that the healer can always just just keep running in circles and you're, ne you're never actually going to land a sheep um or it's very difficult to because even if you blink in he can still line up side you a little bit but yeah i would not recommend playing this comp guys it is fun if you want to play with friends, but it's not the greatest ladder comp, especially when comparing it to like RMP, like I uploaded yesterday, which was awesome, or RMD, or even Windwalker Mage. Um, mages just need more stuns. I, I, I do think we could have been playing this better, though. Oh, by the way, I wanted to note, I blizzard all the pets there to reduce the cooldown of orb, so I can orb more frequently. Here, I'm trying my heart out to get a sheep on this healer, but it's just not happening. MC the DK a little bit low here, and... Once again, DK is just not dying. I, I'm control. I'm trying my best to control this Windwalker here, but the DK is just running. It seems like we don't have enough consistent pressure with Frost. Um, like Frost is more of a burst spec, and we, it's hard to really burst a DK down. You kind of need to wear him down over a long period of time, and we don't really have that amount of uh, DPS in the long run as a Frost Mage. So we just decided to hit Windwalker for a little bit here. He ports around to a pillar, which is why it's kind of scary to hit him sometimes. But he comes back out with no port. We throw him into a hosh, and we get Trinket right away. And we get a Karma right away. So we're like, wow. We hit the Windwalker, and we got Trinket Karma. He probably didn't need to, but we got it anyway. So we're like, all right, let's go Windwalker here for next swap. Pally's in a load of trouble, so I decided to start shooting the Windwalker a couple times, um, slowing this DK. And my Pally is forced to bubble unfortunately um if i can just land any cc onto this healer and get a you know some pretty big burst here into the windwalker i think we can finish out this game 
I have a blizzard down to further reduce the cooldown of orb. As soon as I can get my orb back, we can do some some burst damage. I get a blink CS, trying my hardest once again to get a sheep here. Couldn't really get a trinket that blink, and he still rolls around the pillar. So yeah, it's very difficult to land sheeps on this map. Um, I do have my orb back though. I, I am looking to burst here, getting a couple frost bolts off, keeping him nice and slow. Um, icy veins, kind of looking over here to sheep off the fear. Uh, fear and the silence and the full sheep and this monk goes down. So yeah, it looks like monk was a slightly better kill target there uh, It's better than chasing a DK all around and uh, him just not dying So this red hunter is kind of funny the first two games we fought these guys I think they killed our priest with no dispersion So I, I think this is the third game against them and we're like, all right We need some revenge because <laughs> these guys just stomped us a couple times. We need we need to actually win I'm trying to get a sheep here, but I, uh, priest is just you know, playing on the pillar, can't really get it, so I just call out for a silence and a hodge combo between my priest and my pally, and uh, the, the life grip actually gets rooted there, which is very nice, his pally is getting very low, and he's kind of stuck out in the open, my priest goes for a fear, my priest actually misses his fear, but I do get a full sheep, and with that full sheep, it looks like we're going to be able to force bubble, I do a half sheep, cast a blizzard to get that orb back, and a quarter sheep, and we uh, Nova into a Belf, <clears throat> and it looks like we do get that bubble here. Start shaping up the Hunter, get his Trinket as well. Uh, bubble gets Mass Dispelled, Priest goes into a Hajj, Priest gets sank by the Red Pally. Still trying to take out this Red Pally, but we pretty much have every cooldown in the book. Uh, so we can, you know, the game is really ours from here. Uh, get a full sheep on the Priest with no death, casting a big Ebon Bolt. I'm trying to get a resheep here. It is a second late. He does get that death off. My priest is coming in hot for a full fear. And my pally uh, could just bubble here if he wants. And yeah, game's over. So that was a pretty nice game. Just doing setups onto the red pally with, with sheep, fear, silences for uh, CC on the healer. And hush for the red pally. And, you know, sheeps for the hunter too. So yeah, not a bad game there. Kind of shows you the tempo of this comp. Shows you the tempo of Frost Mage right now with... Ebon Bolt and Orb as my, you know, ways to burst. So here, turn off that stupid alarm. So here is a Windwalker DK um, R Shaman. <laughs> and it, it, the start of this game was funny because it was after we fought the other Windwalker DK. And uh, my team was like, all right, let's go Windwalker. You know, like two steps on Windwalker. I'm like, no, guys, we have to kill a Shaman in the opener because I fought the Shaman in twos and I think we killed him before in twos. Like, I'm like, we have to kill him in threes now. Um, and my team's like, dude, you're trolling. I'm like, no, let's go Shaman. So <laughs> kind of told him to go Shaman, trying to get some CC here. Sheep the DK, double fear the DPS, uh, or Windwalker and Healer. Cast an Ebon Bolt Orb Flurry. Uh, we get a full Hajj. He trinkets a Hajj into a Silence, into a Half Belf, into a Quarter Belf, and the Shaman goes down in the opener through Trinket. So that was beautiful. Um, really enjoyed that game there i was laughing and screaming it was uh, that was that was really enjoyable to do as a frost mage uh to uh to an r shaman but anyway here we're going into our final game for the day into a hunter a feral and a disc priest this team actually beat us a few times they beat us more than we beat them but i wanted to show this game because i thought it was rather just it was just a good game well played all around um, whereas the other ones, we, we had like eh, just random mistakes that seemed to lose us the game. So get a full ring, cross CC into the into the priest, new half sheep. Thought I killed the hunter in the opener, but he gets that uh, deterrence off, trinket deterrence through that feign death as well. Uh, tab target over here to the feral, trying to get some damage off. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to happen though. Priest uh, still has all of his cooldowns available. Uh, a feral still has his walls, you know, but Hunter has no trinket, no deter, so Hunter looks like a pretty decent kill target as long as he doesn't run too much. I sheep up the Hunter a little bit, just to peel before our next setup. Cast a Blitzer to reduce the cooldown of my orb. Uh, casting Frost Bolts to get Ice Lance proc, or you know, Icicles, so I do more damage with my Ice Lance procs. Um, going to go, I'll probably look for some CC here soon, but my Pally's full traps, so I just want to make sure I'm okay. Just for a second here, blink back, try to put a ring around myself, fake just in case Feral kicks me because I need the, if I need the block, uh, blink back again, trying to hold my block here to the best of my ability. Pally pops wings, I, t I pop temp, probably a bad temp, but definitely totally fine now, don't need the block. Going in for some CC under the priest, he actually does death that sheep, I re-sheep him into a quarter sheep if I can. I get the quarter sheep, doing some damage here onto the hunter. Um, I want my priest to fear. I kind of called their priest to give him a nice slow. 
um, into a full fear. Still doing some damage onto this hunter, but I do get kicked the last second. I tried to blink away from it, but it didn't do it in time. Decent damage onto the hunter, but it doesn't look like he's going to go down. Um, hunter is just an awesome kill target, though, with no trigger, no deter, and the feral still has his walls and stuff. Uh, pushing in here, uh, pop a sheep onto the healer. Sheep is trinket actually, like, instantly right there, doing more damage to this hunter and a little bit more damage. Block that CC, and the hunter does go down. So pretty freaking cool game there. That was probably my favorite game of the night. But yeah, ended up actually going up in rating after that session. Had a terrible start, but had a very fun Q session. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the God Comp in 2017. Thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see for next time. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!